Hello there, I'm Tara with Earth Tantra. If you haven't subscribed to the Earth Tantra YouTube channel, I invite you to do so now. One of the questions that people ask me often is, how do I know when I'm ready to study Tantra? I like to ask people, are you curious about Tantra? Are you in transition right now? Are you experiencing suffering? Are you experiencing joy? Do you desire to learn more? Why do you want to learn Tantra? What is calling you toward the practice? And if you can answer yes to perhaps one or two of these questions, then you are ready for Tantra. One of the common misconceptions about practicing Tantra is that we need to be perfect. We need to be this, this guru, this person who maybe in our head, we have the story of being on a pedestal, being better than us, and to reach that point before we can live a tantric life. But that's a misconception because Tantra is for everybody. It doesn't matter where you are in your life. As long as you have a curiosity or perhaps a little calling or you have read about Tantra in a book and you want to try and experience it for yourself. So we don't need to be perfect in order to study Tantra. We don't need to be this person on the pedestal. We just need to be real. We need to show up with our emotions and we just need to be present. Sometimes what holds us back is this story or this creation of self limitations. So thinking that we aren't good enough or thinking before we can start it, I need to finish X, Y, and Z. But as long as we are trapped in these limitations, that is what might be holding you back. And so I'm here to tell you that we don't need to be perfect. The Tantra is for everybody. Tantra is the whole scope of life, birth to death and beyond. And all of the shadows and the icky things inside and the fear and the shame and the sadness and also the joy and the happiness and the pleasures in life are all practiced within Tantra. And what I really love about Tantra is that there are so many different practices. There are practices that begin for just people who are starting and that lay the foundation of the breath work, of connecting within, perhaps of meditation and chakra work. And then as you learn these different practices, then you can build and build toward more advanced courses. So going into Tantra, you don't need to have any foundation of anything. When I personally began Tantra, I had very little knowledge and practices. I didn't even really study yoga. Um, I had no foundation for meditation. I kind of knew what the chakras were and I played with that energy a little bit, but I was so very curious and I just followed my intuition. So if we can release those personal limitations of that story that we create in our head and just show up to a tantric event. So actually knowing very little before attending your first tantric event is probably one of the most pure forms of experience really encourage you to get out there and to experience Tantra in in person and to be present and to listen to your guide and how to connect with the practice and to get that foundation. Tantra is considered the middle pathway. So the pathway between pleasure and the pathway between suffering. So right in the middle. And that's what really excites me about Tantra because everything that's in between we get to play with and experience and immerse and to feel. And oftentimes um, at Tantric events, there's a lot of emotion that arises, a lot of healing, which is so incredibly beautiful. And one of the things that I love to share um, in Earth Tantra retreats is once that first person cries or sheds a tear, that's when the retreat begins. So Tantra is life. Tantra is now. Tantra is the full scope of life. Before life, at birth, death, and beyond. And such a beautiful rites of passage. And 
everything that we can experience that's woven in. It's such a beautiful practice. I like to consider Tantra as the umbrella for all practices. And again, you don't have to be a guru in meditation or sacred sexuality or chakra work or, or anything. Just show up, just be present. And I really encourage you to take that step to immerse into Tantra or to try even just a Tantric workshop and see if the practice resonates with you. And if you have any questions, I invite you to comment below. And I will also include a link in the description of how you can get a hold of me and visit Earth Tantra's website. And please share this with anybody. Perhaps you know somebody who's interested in learning Tantra and this video might really resonate with them. Perhaps it's a partner or a friend or a son or a daughter. So thank you so much for spending this time with me and I look forward to reading your comments below.